Tired of paying for cloud-based solutions to enhance your images? Imagine running Magnific AI locally for free on your own computer. With Stable Diffusion's multi-diffusion extension, you can do just that. Effortlessly add intricate details and upscale your images to perfection. In this video, we'll explore Stable Diffusion's Multi-Diffusion Extension, a powerful extension to upscale and add detail to your images like never before. But before we dive in, let's ensure you have the necessary tools. First up, you'll need the ControlNet extension and the ControlNet tile model. If you haven't installed ControlNet yet, check out our tutorial on how to do so. After watching this video, of course. Next, we need the Multi-Diffusion Extension, or sometimes referred to as Tiled Diffusion. To install the Tiled Diffusion extension, open your Automatic 1111 interface and navigate to the Extensions tab. Click on Install from URL and paste the GitHub link provided in the description. Then, simply click Install. After installation, head to the Installed tab and select Check for Updates. Finally, click Apply and Restart UI to ensure the extension is up to date. Before we can start adding details and upscale our image, we need a starting image. I will quickly create an awesome image with the Z-Base XL model and enable high-res fix with a low denoising strength. Once you have your base image ready, we can send it to image to image by pressing the little painting under the image. If you want to use a different image, you can simply drag and drop your image onto the image to image canvas. The first step is crucial for achieving optimal results. We'll begin by adjusting the checkpoint to a SD 1.5 model. I will use Juggernaut. This is a good all-round checkpoint to use covering all sorts of styles. Next up, you want to change the prompts. Remove all the descriptive keywords so your prompt will look something like this. Hyper-detailed, intricate details. Extreme quality. Now, let's select our sampling method. Juggernaut recommends DPM++ 2M Keras for optimal performance. Adjust the sampling steps to 20 for a balance between speed and quality. Moving on to denoising strength, this is one of the settings that determines the detail added in the final output. A lower value maintains the original image, while a higher value adds more detail. Experiment within the range of 0.2 to 0.75 to find the perfect balance for your image. Scrolling down, we encounter the Tiled Diffusion extension. Start by enabling the extension and selecting the Mixture of Diffusers method. Though similar to Multi-Diffusion, this method is recommended by the extension's creator for enhanced performance. You can experiment with the latent tile width and height. I will leave them at 96. If you have a smaller image to start with, lower this for more tiles. Set the overlap to 16, and depending on your GPU, you can increase the batch size. For the upscaler, I will use 4X Ultra Sharp, but you can choose anything you like. A good pre-installed upscaler is RESR Gen 4X. Leave scale factor at 2 for a 2X upscale. You can lower this value for quicker generation. Noise inversion is where the magic happens. This will add a lot of details to your image. Enable noise inversion and set the inversion steps to 50. Reducing the re-noise strength adds detail if you set this all the way to zero. I recommend increasing the denoising strength to around 0.75. You can play around with these settings as there is no perfect setting that will work for everyone. Lastly, scroll down and enable the Tiled VAE extension. Here we will only enable the Fast Encoder Color Fix option. This makes sure our image stays vibrant and doesn't lose color or will look washed. The last thing we need to do is enable ControlNet, scroll down and open the extension. Check the Enable and the Pixel Perfect checkboxes. For the control type, select tile slash blur. Now set the control mode to control net is more important. And that's it. Hit that generate button and watch how multi-diffusion does the rest. This may take a minute or two to generate depending on your image resolution and GPU speed. And there you have it. That took just under three minutes. Let's take a closer look and compare the before and after. Just look at how much detail is added. Amazing, but we're not done yet. 
say you want to upscale this image again but without adding any more details. That's possible too even with a low VRAM GPU. Begin by dragging the previously upscaled image onto the image to image canvas. Next, reduce the denoising strength to approximately 0.1. Then deactivate the noise inversion and control net. Finally, click on the generate button once more. You can upscale as many times as you want, but the larger the image, the longer it's going to take. Let's look at a few more examples. And if you learned something today, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers.